I want to thank all of you that came out on this little bit of a rainy day. I see many of you have your <laughs> mud boots on. And thank you for those wearing heels, your aerating our grass. <laughs> thank you. So welcome to Dartmouth-Hitchcock Manchester. I'm Joanne Conroy, CEO and President of Dartmouth-Hitchcock Health System. And we are excited to be here and excited to have all of you here to celebrate the beginning of this important project breaking new ground here in Manchester. Steve Paris will give you a little history later. It's something that I think he's been dreaming about for a long time. Uh, it's great to see a lot of people here um, from our community partners and new faces and old friends, neighbors, patients, colleagues, Joyce Craig, mayor of Manchester, who'll speak to us later, our local and state legislators and leadership of Dartmouth-Hitchcock Health. Um, Senator Shaheen, actually sent us a letter and she says, uh, dear friends, I wish I could be with you at today's groundbreaking ceremony for Dartmouth Hitchcock Manchester's new ambulatory surgery center and clinical service expansion. Please know that I join you in spirit as we celebrate the vision and hard work that we put in, into this new cutting edge 90,000 square foot project. We come together this morning not only to officially break ground for this new facility, but also to highlight the impact of an organization that seeks to deliver high quality health services to people in need. I offer my thanks to all at Dartmouth-Hitchcock and my hope that you will continue your hard work in a field so focused on serving and assisting others. Your efforts are helping to ensure that everyone in the region has the opportunity to receive top of the line comprehensive ambulatory care. I have no doubt that together we can continue to mobilize our efforts into all, until all who need it enjoy access to the kind of effective and efficient patient-centered care you strive to deliver. Congratulations once again and best wishes to you all as you continue your good work. Um, thank you, Senator Shaheen. Uh, in addition to the mayor, I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize a few guests who are here with us today. Charlie Plimpton, who's our Dartmouth Hitchcock trustee. Uh, Will Stewart, our Ward 2 alderman. Dan O'Neill, alderman at large. And Pam Hoffley, who's the medical director here at Manchester, as well as Joe Pepe, who's the CEO of Catholic Medical Center. And there are probably some other people I missed or some local people that Steve is going to acknowledge in his remarks, but thank you everybody for being here. So I'm gonna start the program by introducing a member of the Dartmouth-Hitchcock team who's been part of our family in the southern region for many years. He really doesn't need any introduction. Steve Paris is the Regional Medical Director for Dartmouth-Hitchcock for Concord, Manchester, and Nashua locations. He's an important part of the Dartmouth-Hitchcock family, and we know for many of you has been an important part of your families and your community. He's been a driving force in getting us here today and has his fingerprints really all over this project, but really the powerful ambulatory care enterprise that we have in the southern part of the state. So Steve? I'll hand it over to you. Well, welcome today on this beautiful sunny day. Take, <laughs> take part in the celebration. I think the sun is actually coming out. So by the time you leave the tent, it will be clear. Uh, yes, I've been here for 19 years and only been working on this project for about 15 of those years. Um, <laughs> When we first, when I first got here, 93 acres, one building, it just seemed like a big waste of land. We could do a lot more, and we're finally doing that. When this property was first built 20 years ago, uh, it was anticipated that we'd be filling a significant need in the community. Dartmouth Hitchcock Clinic started in the Manchester area in 1984. Uh, this building opened up in 1998, and really was a significant expansion at the time. We never quite realized how fast it would begin to grow. It grew slowly at first, but then significantly took off, and we really needed additional space and services that we could provide to the greater community. None of this would be possible without a lot of support. Joanne said I yelled and screamed at a few board meetings. Um, I, I'm also on the board, so they've been listening to this for about the last nine years. Um, but thanks, Joanne, and all this, uh, the senior officers for helping out. All my 
uh, associate members on the Board of Trustees for approving this project because without everybody's commitment, we really couldn't do this. And this really is a s whole system commitment to not only Greater Manchester, but the state of New Hampshire. There are a few people in the audience that I wanted to mention specially. We have two people who in July of 1984, in a building on South River Road in Bedford, opened up the original clinic, Stu Richmond and Jean LaRivier. Without all their efforts, none of us would be here. Uh, I was very fortunate that when I got here, I, I Gene certainly took me under his wing and taught me only a couple of things. Stu has been a mentor a lot more years than that, is also my next door neighbor, so thank you both. Uh, another big friend of all of ours, and especially Chad, John Exagoras is here. He's been a, a major uh, philanthropist for us uh, and a major fundraiser for pediatric oncology care for the last 20 years. So thank you, John. <laughs> and lastly, we, we, there was a lot of efforts over a lot of years to build the framework to get this building built and increasing the services. And I want to thank Marianne Aldridge, who worked here for 18 years with us. <laughs> Without all of her efforts, we wouldn't be in this place today. So thank you, Marianne. I'm not sure where she is, but she was here. Uh, to fulfill our mission as a health care provider, it really is very important that we need to engage in the community. If the only thing we do is see patients that walk into our exam rooms and our ORs and then send them home and not deal with that, we really are not providing the complete service. So it's very important that we continue to be engaged with a variety of different organizations in the community. I think over the last 20 years, we've done a very good job of that. We have some of our community organizers, organizations in the hall with us today. I want to thank you all for doing that. And also thank our new and uh, developing friendship with CMC. Thank you, Steve. Uh, we just had a little airmail delivery. We have a um, letter from Senator Hassan. Dear friends, I regret that I cannot be with you today for the groundbreaking of the new ambulatory surgery center and clinical service expansion at Dartmouth Hitchcock, Manchester, but I join you all in celebrating the beginning of this important project. New Hampshire's strength begins with its people, and healthy citizens leave a productive workforce and vibrant communities, strengthening our economy improving our quality of life and well-being. The Ambulatory Surgery Center and Clinical Service Expansion will increase access to care and offer enhanced space for specialty services, helping the Dartmouth-Hitchcock staff continue to provide high-quality health care to people throughout New Hampshire. Thank you to Dartmouth-Hitchcock and everyone here for your steadfast commitment to the health and well-being of your fellow Granite Staters, and congratulations on this exciting step forward. Thank you, Senator Hassan. So as Steve emphasized, our goal is to care for people we serve in an environment that optimizes the strength of the community group practice anchored to an academic healthcare system. Those strengths include better integration and coordination of our clinical services, convenience for our patients, and more effective and efficient collaboration within our provider teams to deliver care. We had a town listening session last night, and actually one of our patients that was receiving care up in Lebanon came to talk about how great the care was, but he really much preferred to receive it closer to home, and that's exactly what we hope to achieve. This project will enable us to deliver high quality cost-effective ambulatory surgical services, which are important to our patients, their families, and our communities. And we know that healthcare is changing rapidly enough that we have to be able to accommodate those cases that can be performed in an outpatient center and send patients home. Surgeries that historically we may have admitted patients to the hospital for two or three days. The technology and the techniques 
and the level of services that we can offer patients in an ambulatory care facility and home allow us to have people spend most of their recovery in the place where they feel most comfortable in their own home. <coughs> the project will enable us to combine orthopedics, podiatry, spine, and pain management into one location, making it much simpler for our patients to access care that they need. We are committed to making it easier for residents in South, Southern New Hampshire to access all of the health and wellness services that they need close to home. To talk more about our community, its growth, and how Dartmouth-Hitchcock is vital to the Manchester area and beyond, I'm pleased to welcome the Honorable Joyce Craig, the Mayor of the City of New Hampshire. Good morning. What an exciting day. It's an honor to be here with all of you to celebrate this great groundbreaking, the start of a significant expansion of Dartmouth-Hitchcock in Manchester. Manchester is so fortunate to have Dartmouth-Hitchcock in our community. Having access to high quality health care is critical to improving the overall health and wellness for people in the greater Manchester area. And community health is something our city is working diligently to address. And in order to be successful, we must, be effective, we must have effective and robust partnerships with organizations that are responsive to the needs of families and neighbors. And Dartmouth-Hitchcock has been and continues to be a partner that we rely on to be innovative and proactive. I'm honored to be here today to be part of the next step for Dartmouth-Hitchcock to increase, increase access of care to our residents and residents throughout Southern New Hampshire. I want to thank Joanne and Steve and all of the folks at Dartmouth-Hitchcock uh, for bringing increased health services uh, to Manchester and beyond. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Craig. Mayor Craig has been a key supporter of our efforts, and we're really pleased that she could join us today. Once again, I'd like to thank everybody <clears throat> for coming out to celebrate this very important milestone for our organization. Uh, before we continue our celebration with additional pictures and shovels in the ground, and what we'd like is for the Dartmouth-Hitchcock leadership team and the project management team to be available once we move one of the panels aside for pictures outside. Um, I want to thank a lot of the people who have been driving it from inception. Our project partners, Rich Peasy, CEO of Lavelle Brenzinger, our construction partner, Harvey Construction Corporation, our civil engineer, Fuss and O'Neill, our structural engineer, Sousa True and Partners, and our mechanical, electrical, and fire protection team engineers, BRNA. To our project team, including everyone who has met every Friday for the past several months under the leadership of Craig Bett, our VP of Operations for our community group practices. To our employees who have the best interests of our patients in mind and who have provided valuable input into the design of the space. You know, employees who are on the front line really know how patients and employees need to move in and out of the rooms in order to deliver effective, efficient care. And to our neighbors for your support of the important work for this community. And of course, for the City of Manchester for giving us the opportunity to provide the best health care and wellness service to its residents. So now, let's get the project started. Thank you. All right, Jen, next steps. <laughs> now everybody can come and see us um, sink the shovels into some soggy ground. Or, but you can also enjoy a few more cupcakes and sliders and coffee in the tent.